I want to introduce to you an idea that I've learned over my many years of investing in real estate. I've been buying properties all around the country. If you are already investing in real estate, this might help you find your next deal. Hey, what's up millionaires? Mitch Durfee here. And in this video, I want to talk to you about a special method that I call the dartboard method or the bullseye method to finding your first real estate investment property. Or if you are already investing in real estate, this might help you find your next deal. Here's a question that I have for you. When it comes to investing in real estate, where do you look for properties? I want to introduce to you an idea that I've learned over my many years of investing in real estate. I've been buying properties all around the country. Right now, my portfolio is over 600 units. I got 125 storage units in Denver, and we're fixing and flipping four houses currently. Now, I flipped houses all around the country in states like Vermont, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Ohio, Colorado, and St. Louis and a few other states in between. So this is a method that I use when it comes to finding properties. Now let's go back to the dartboard. Now on a dartboard, where is the highest scoring position on the dartboard? A lot of people think it's the bullseye. Well, on a dartboard, the bullseye is only worth 50 points. Now I know you're thinking, okay, that's why they call it the bullseye. That's why everyone tries to aim for the bullseye. Well, the truth is, if you actually look at a dartboard, there are rings around the dartboard that are double scores and triple scores. Now the double score is actually on the outside ring and the triple score is actually on the inside ring. So if we were to make this dartboard and place it over the center of a city, for example, let's say we were in downtown Denver and we took the dartboard and we dropped it right on Denver. The bullseye would be the dead center of Denver. On the dead center of Denver, you know, that would be worth 50 points, right? Now, if you go out to the next ring, that's a triple score. So just outside of Denver, you have the triple score ring. And then outside of that, you have the double score ring. And then everywhere in between is kind of just this single points, right? So if you thought the bullseye was the highest scoring point on the dartboard well you might think that the highest scoring point when it comes to real estate is downtown denver but that's not true on the triple ring of the dartboard there are four other points that actually score higher than the bullseye i know that may be a little confusing when we're talking about bullseyes and downtown city areas and outer rings so i just kind of want to like you know just make sure you understand that there are four other points on that outside ring that actually score higher than the bullseye and that's because they're triple scores so okay great Great. So what does that mean, Mitch? Like, why are you explaining a bullseye scoring versus uh, how a city uh, downtown is the bullseye versus these different rings? Well, let me explain to you why I use this method when it comes to investing in real estate. In real estate, you always have to balance cash flow and appreciation. And when real estate, different markets have different appetites. Well, people used to want to live downtown. Downtown, that market, if everyone's trying to live in downtown, well, you're going to end up paying a premium. Now, if you go outside of downtown, Denver or outside of any major city, you're going to find that real estate. So a three bedroom house in downtown uh, Denver is going to cost a lot more than a house like way outside that city. So if you go outside of the entire city circle and you're ending up, you know, 20, 30, 40 or 50 miles or more outside that city, the price typically goes down from when what's inside that center of the city. Outside the city, if the price is lower, it's because there's less demand for that. Like not everyone wants to live outside the city, but also not everyone wants to live downtown in the center of the city. So there's kind of that sweet spot of just outside the city center, right? So that triple score ring is really the sweet spot when it comes to cities. And what you see on these highways is like on these bigger cities, there's actually usually like a cirque that goes around that center of the city. And I think it's interesting, like if you compare that, that Cirque Highway that goes around the city, that's typically where you're gonna see these veins of real estate that are where I look for my fix and flip properties or my long-term holds for investments. And it's because that's how people get around the city and they can travel into the city, but they don't wanna live so far from the city on that way outer ring that they're not able to get into the city within an hour. So that Cirque Highway or that triple score ring is typically what I'm looking for when I'm investing in properties. So there's a balance between the downtown city, right? The downtown center of the city will typically appreciate the most. But if you're going to pay a million dollars for a property in the downtown city and outside the city, it's $500,000, that downtown city center property will typically appreciate more. But the problem is if you try to rent that property out, there's typically not going to be any cash flow there because not a lot of people are going to want to pay 
pay the premium difference between what the mortgage is and how much actual rent is for the city. So you have a hard time renting those properties out, but if you wanna live there, then yeah, you can live there and you'll get that appreciation the highest. But on the outside ring, you can typically rent those properties out for more than what the mortgage is. The farther outside the city that you go, you can typically rent those properties for more than the mortgage, but the challenge of those properties is they don't appreciate as fast because not a lot of people will wanna move there. So that's, again, going back to that center circle, out that triple score on the dartboard is really what I'm looking for when it comes to investing in properties because you get a nice balance on those pieces of property where people wanna live there, so you have the demand, so you can get the appreciation in the property, and you also have a nice cash flow balance. So you may not cash flow as much as you would outside the city, but you'll get a little bit of cash flow that can cover your maintenance expenses and your value adds that you need to do, your vacancy, so actually speaking of vacancies, if you go, if you're looking at this same dartboard method that I talk about, like the bullseye will typically have less vacancies. That center ring will have a nice average and the outside ones will have more vacancies again because there's less demand there. I hope this video helps you out when it comes to investing in real estate. Again, just to really break it down one more time, I use this dartboard method when it comes to investing in real estate because the center of the city is not always the best investment, just like the outside of the cities are not the best investment. I like to be right in that middle ring, just like on the dartboard where you get the triple score point. That's the best value in real estate. Now, I've been using this method for about 15 years now and it's worked out really well for me. Let me know what section of the board you want to be in in the comment sections and let me know if this video helped you when it comes to finding your next real estate investment property. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.